I knew it was something that was going to be thought provoking. So I think, um, you know, it definitely made me kind of reanalyze myself and my walk. It reminds you, right? So even for those of us that know that there's both heaven and hell, I think just seeing that sometimes you focus on um, Jesus, we focus on our lives, but when we think about what's to come and that could come literally any minute, I think that's, right. the, most, uh, that's the most shocking, right? You could be here today, gone tomorrow. And so there's an urgency to, um, to walk the way we should and let the fruits of the Spirit show. That was probably the favorite part is seeing him when he finally bowed down right. was um, was an emotional part for me. How I need to get my life back right, like with the, right with the Lord, and looking at that, it's like I don't want to be that one that's left back in the rapture. I want God to take me when He comes. So there are some things in my life that I need to get together. You know, I need to give and I need to repent. I'm grateful that this happened and that they had an altar call because. God continues to try to intervene and put us in position to save us from ourselves. So I'm grateful. Very touching, especially the ending, where he realized that his mistakes were worthy of being repented for. And he was, you know, he was uh, just, it was just brought to his attention. Everything was enlightened. God forgave him, and he was able to see things more clearly. Man, it was awesome. It was awesome. Yeah, it was done really well. And it was acted very well, very realistic, you know. Yeah, yeah, realistic. If you if you if you know the word and 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 it's, it's very realistic. And if not, then it'll get you thinking. It'll get you thinking because life is short. Life is short, but eternal life is forever. On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate this movie? I would give it a ten. Yes, yes. I was engaged from start to finish. It was a very cool script. The writing was amazing and the actors performed. And it, again, it kept me engaged and I really enjoyed it. An uplifting uh, you know, message at the end, uh, clarifying what the gospel is. Um, really, you know, it, it's an important message because um, you know, a lot of people get the gospel. <laughs> So a lot of things about their salvation, you know, because they attend church. And, but uh, yeah, so it's an important movie, I think, because of that. Uh, hopefully it opens a lot of eyes and brings many people to Christ for, for real. Could you tell us what your favorite part of the movie was? I love the movie from beginning to end. I'm, I still have chills and I'm still cheering and crying. I mean, it was so realistic. I feel like even my unbeliever friends can watch that movie. I loved it. I don't have the best part. I think just the whole thing was just very touching. <laughs> On a scale from 1 to 10, what would you give it? Above 10. Above 10. It's funny because I, I used to be uh, a believer that uh, didn't believe in hell so much or didn't want to talk about hell or even think about it. Only thought about heaven and, and, and God and, and never thought about, you know, the devil, demons. Because how could a loving God, you know, you know uh, send people to hell? But that's what his word says. It actually tells you the truth that you actually have to repent and you have to change. Because that's really what the gospel is about. It's not just about like, like let's say living a life full of sin and then in the end just like praying and saying, Oh, I'm sorry God for all my sins. But knowing well that you were doing wrong the whole time. You can't expect to, you can't expect to do that, man. It's not a good movie that will come out at such a time as this that people are losing hope, that people are, you know, are turning uh, away from God. But uh, this movie that's people that will come towards God, that's exactly how the movie, you know, that's picture. And uh, it's a good picture. It's amazing. So I hope everyone can watch this movie and uh, it's a must. So uh, come on, people. Let's go out and watch this movie. It was a movie that really made me reflect on things that we do on every single day and as a matter of fact there was something I was thinking of doing and during watching the movie I changed my mind of not doing that. Being in denial of his uh, actions and then realizing it and repenting was really great. I really love this movie because I feel it this is from really life. People really a lot of Christian they're thinking then no movie give you answer. I think that the part that really did get me was knowing that 
you know, there is an actual hell. And so when the lead actor was able to realize that he woke up with an opportunity to have a second chance, it really did give him a spirit of like relief, but mostly just the idea of knowing that, you know, he, we need to take it serious, our faith and our salvation. I love those moments because a reminder that every single day we have an opportunity and every single day we have a choice to uh, repent from doing the wrong thing, to repent from just engaging within our flesh. But a lot of times we don't, you know, because we do what feels good. And it showed as he was doing that, we also do that. And I just love that because it reminded me like, yo, we do this on a regular basis. I need to be God-centered and Christ-focused on my day-to-day. -day. The director's perspective on hell has really opened my eyes that it's it's a scary place and it, I'm just so grateful that I came tonight. I drove from San Diego to see this movie and uh, yeah, I think the overall message was just beautiful and it had a very happy ending that, um, and I think this movie, I could see it in the Christian education, education system. Um, so I, I really hope that um, other people get to see it. 50% of Christians don't believe in hell and I think it's just because it's so uncomfortable but I, I often tell people get comfortable with being uncomfortable because it is real and it is uh, and it's in the future for, for a lot of people unfortunately it just made me feel happy at the, the ending just made me feel like you know everyone has the opportunity to repent and to be led in the right direction my favorite scene was when he woke up at the end and it was the two surfers but really they were um, they were the demons that had been tormenting him while he was in hell for 50,000 years which really shows you that that there are devils that are that are real and and that will torment you and just because you're saved doesn't mean that devils can't attempt to torment you but it's up to you and your confidence in the Lord to stand so it was really good it was really good there's so much heart in this movie and it's so beautiful to see that um, and I love some of the comedy aspects yeah, me too I did love the comedy too very much so, so um, do you believe in hell oh yes oh my goodness yes I wish I wish it wasn't true, but Jesus does not lie. And and as the film, I think, mentions, it, and it's something that I remember reading, it's like it, Jesus mentions hell so many more times than heaven. And that's really the impact of, of and how much he loves us that he doesn't want us to ever go there. So the important thing is knowing, A, that the devil is real, that Lucifer is real, and hell is real. And that if you love people enough to tell them the truth, so that they never get to go there. Because really you don't want your worst enemy. I can't think of anyone in my life that I would ever want to be there. Like it, it, it's so terrifying.